Hello everyone. My name is Mark Grego. I am a writer, vlogger, and photographer in that order. And I come back to Lecoq Cemetery here in Rochester, Pennsylvania to give you an update. And looking around, you might say to yourself, what update? And for the most part, I'm inclined to agree with you. But believe it or not, there are some significant improvements that I have seen. And then after I show you those improvements, I'm going to suggest a couple of ideas for the communities that maybe we can come together and do something about this place. It is a magnificent piece of history and it needs to be preserved. But if you go further in here, it's more dilapidated. A lot of this just needs cleared out. As I pointed out in the other videos, these are the forgotten of Beaver County and I, it's, it's completely inaccessible. These are all jaggers and I really don't want to go through here, but where are my fingers at? Right in there, there's graves all through down in there. You can see the white stones if you look clearly. The camera's not going to pick them up, but they're there. Excuse my big shadow. There's no clouds in the sky right now, so this video is going to be clear and sunny. <laughs> I came back up here to do another film because I just want to show you some things that maybe I've missed in the other ones. And to show you some, some things have gotten under control. But just look, I mean, these people here, you know, they're, they probably don't have anybody to remember them. Sarah died in 1927, Herman died in 1928. And there's a whole, there's a whole family plot in here. And it's, uh, it's somewhat accessible. I'll show you one thing over here. It's a really nice grave and it's, well, it's just eaten away. I'm thinking it came off of this part here. There's a big hole in there. Probably a groundhog or something in here. But just look at these beautiful stones just sitting here. Right in the way. You know? You see what I'm saying? Well, come on, guys. We're, we, we can do better than this, you know? We can do we can we can do better than this. We can preserve this ourselves. The reason why this is such a significant piece of history is because I made videos about it telling you why. Senator Abler Nacock is buried here. The cemetery is named after him. He's one of the first senators of Pennsylvania. He took part in a trial that prosecuted President Andrew Jackson, who was not president at the time, for his atrocities against Native Americans. He did a lot for this whole area that you see here that is in preservation today because of him and his contributions. And I think that alone merits uh, the contention that we need to take care of this better place. It, this is a very beautiful physical piece of history and it needs to be preserved. It just does. Now, coming up here, the grounds up here are starting to be taken care of. As a matter of fact, it looked like somebody had just mowed, although they didn't mulch this part. They could get up all these leaves. These stones around here need a little bit of work, a little bit of trim. And those are my suggestions, you know. Come in here with your weed whacker. It'll take you just a few moments of your time. And just weed whack around these stones. If you have spare time in your day and you don't have nothing planned, nothing going on. And I'm not just talking to the people here that live in Rochester. I'm, I'm talking to everybody in Beaver County. You can all come up here, all of us. All of us can get together and make this place more acceptable. It's, it's extremely valuable historically. It's extremely valuable. And we need to preserve it. We need to take the proper measures. What are your suggestions? What, do, what would you like to see done with this place? Again, this is not a video to put Rochester in, in a bad light. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just doing this again to come up here to show you that some things have been done. They're taking care of the grass better than they ever have. But in between, where these private families are buried in their own lots, that's another story. And the one that I'm approaching right now is what I've been talking about and what I talked about in the past videos. I even made a video about Senator Lecoq. This is his whole family here, all of them. His whole family's here, not just him. This is his special plot. And this is his grave right here, the big white stone one here. 
That's it. All his family. I don't know who these people were. Then you go down here. And I don't want to show things that I've already shown. I'm, I'm putting emphasis on this, which is why I'm showing it to you. But, And I have done this in the past too. But again, I just want to show you that more measures can be taken here. Just look at this. It's sad. Yeah. And again, ladies and gentlemen, there's lots of graves in there. You go in there, you'll find them. I don't even know if I can read that. I don't think I can. These look like children because they have lambs on top of their graves. These are kids. These are children of Beaver County. Children. There's lots of them. All the way down in here. See, here's another one right here. See? Can't read it. It's not legible. This is an army tag here. Not legible. I think this was a grave. I'm not certain. More down in there, behind them logs. This is crumbling away. I don't know if you can read it. Can't read that. There's another one. Look at this. Look how sad this is. And I'm, I'm unable to read that. Maybe you can. But again, some of this is it's, it's a lot better than it was. This is not obviously. This, a lot of this needs cleared out. Just simply needs cleared out. It wouldn't take that long. This is a pile of stones here. You can't read them. It's such a beautiful place. Quiet. Quite sad. More down in here. Okay. There's more in there. I can't read them. Can't even go in there and read them. There's one here. I have no idea what it says. And again, these older stones that you see here could just come up here, like I said, with a weed whacker and a mower. Zip, zip. Look at this. A flag on the ground. Oh, look at that. That's old. I don't know who's a veteran here, but I'm just going to replace it. I'm not certain I can read that. It was a magnificent stone in its time. Here's more. Looks like a veteran. Not legible. <laughs> and as you can see, well, there's more down there. There's lots more down there, I assure you. Broken here. But they did get creative and put a picnic table here. So that's where we're in the video. This is the art of modernization right here. So that's it. As you can see, it's all nice up in here. But as you get down further, it's still deplorable. 
and it shouldn't be. We need to get together as a community, access our resources, access our own resources, be self-reliant, and come up here and preserve this wonderfully historical narrative that we have here in our county. I hope you agree with me. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share your comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say about all of this. This is the update, so I, I really want to hear your voice. I'll see you in the next one.